So for this next one, I'm about to airdrop you a picture. Now, hold your judgment. Are you f kidding me? Oh my <laughs> God. Hold your judgment. They said this will settle the debate. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Rylan's so <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast. I'll never let you go. I'll never let go. You literally did. <laughs> you literally did and fucking drowned me. I promise. You sure about that? Yeah, there I was died. room for you. There was room and you killed me. We'll get to that later. Hey guys, welcome back to the Halloween in Thanksgiving episode. Because the costumes came late. <laughs> oh, sorry. Megan wants to say something. I don't know. You never seen her. Yeah, she sounds a I little more like a woman, <laughs> like a little girl. Hi. Hello. I'm Megan. Megan. Ooh, that was scary. And the tattoos yes. peeking through. It's very Ooh. creepy. And your beard matching, oddly working. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like when you showed me, I thought, oh yeah, that's it. Yeah. I, feel, I look like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Uh, and Chris is a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Such a gay one, too. Yeah, it's, he's a like, copyright-free <laughs> pumpkin spice latte. I got him that because he won't stop talking about how much he loves pumpkin this year. It's like his thing. I love it, I, I've always loved pumpkin everything to, like, such an annoying degree. I'm so sorry. It has become your identity, which I'm fine with. I like it, too. Yeah. I'm so basic. Um, so I know what you guys are thinking. Why are they doing this in Thanksgiving? Well, I guess I already said it. Our costumes came late. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to be the iconic couple, Jack and Rose from Titanic, my favorite movie ever. I have to say, you killed your makeup. Like, the icicles. Your yeah. hair is really killing it, like the with best, the wet gel. The best Etsy has to offer. I think I like you now more than ever. Oh. You like me hypothermic and dead? <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Um, although I heard you gain weight when you get hypothermic and die. Because your body puffs up. Like when they find bodies at the bottom of oceans. Oh, they're like puff. They're like 200 pounds heavier. And like, I don't need that. How embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Not to weight shame the dead, but. Yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, Rose, by the way, I was looking at pictures of Rose trying to really mimic the look and you guys have the same mole. I know, me and Kate Winslet, just <gasps> iconic duo. I know. Are you I wish I could be in the same category as Kate Winslet. I love her. Is she still doing it? Is She's, she still acting? Oh, yeah. Hello, have you ever seen Avatar 2? No. <laughs> I have it. Open your eyes. <laughs> oh my God. I'm glad to hear that. I should have made one of us an avatar. Oh my God. That would have been so good. I fucked up. Um, okay, so since it is so close to Thanksgiving, we should be really celebrating family, love, things Each we're other. thankful for. Yes. I wanted to talk about something that was sent to me by a viewer named Mariah. We're very thankful for you. And I'm very mm. thankful for this email. Uh, hear me out. I don't know why it's taken me so long to submit this to you guys, but I would love to hear your thoughts and feedback on this new trend that's going viral on TikTok. I'm gonna, I can't wait. I'm gonna play a video with no context, um, <laughs> and you'll see why I'm so thankful for this. Have you guys ever seen an egg made out of jizz? Well, you're about to. What? My client sent in his semen sample and we processed it into a powder. What? what? Powder. That's cum? <laughs> yeah. He wanted a simple showpiece for himself to put up on his shelf. He wanted an egg um, about the size of a large chicken egg. So I created the core. Wait, is he eating this? <laughs> Wait, what the <laughs> fuck? I thought she's making a candy or something. Why, <laughs> why does he need his sperm in an egg on a shelf? Okay, hold on. So many questions. Let, uh, let me just show you a second. I have another one. Let's make a jizzy pearl necklace. What? What? A semen sample and putting it into translucent clay. I think people overestimate sometimes how much we actually need. You really only need a teaspoon. And That's it? Is, <laughs> so this is uh called jizz jewelry what? and there's still i think they're still working on the name there gotta be something fun how than do they jewelry. turn oh, sorry. the jizz into a powder sorry it's called jizzy jizzy jewelry okay i like jizzy that jewelry jizzy, uh, good so there. there's a woman named amanda booth and um she creates jizzy jewelry she asks you this was something that somebody asked her to do and now she's found her new niche so you send her a cum sample she dehydrates it wait i'm gonna come in a cup Send it to her and she'll turn it into a powder. <laughs> he sent her um, a sample. In How a nice the hell did bottle. someone get it in that? I don't know. Oh my god, I just copy and pasted that and put it somewhere. Shit. I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to do that. <laughs> screensaver. Um, and then she takes a dehydrated semen. Oh, it looks like drugs. And then she uh, turns it into look at it, cute little necklaces. Dude, there's, there's no way. How many people are doing it? She got to be the only one, right? Is this a, is this a thing? <laughs> I think like she's an the industry? pioneer. Oh, yeah. she definitely she created is. It. We, we gotta be close to the source. And folks. how can we trust that she's not just whipping out a powder after she says she's dehydrated it? Like, oh, how do we trust true. that it's real? We need that to it's see authentic. A, like, how do I know I'm wearing my own jizzy jewelry? <laughs> 
I don't want to shame, but I don't understand why anybody would want this or uh, need this. How did we get here from Thanksgiving? Is it? <laughs> because I'm thankful for uh, TikTok, for trends, you, for things that make me happy. And for this, semen. This real thing, also semen. This really made my day. I just thought it was fun. <laughs> thought it was interesting. Like, I think it's a fun gag gift. Like I can wear your DNA. <laughs> like imagine I giving gag. giving someone a bracelet and then saying that it's made out of my jizz. I think we should. You should get one for Sandy. <laughs> Actually, that's a good idea because this is not a thing now like friendship bracelets people like take those stupid bracelets to like concerts and you start giving people your jizz <laughs> whoa and you just yeah. have power it's like when you jack off before you shake somebody's hand you hate i'm Can surprised you... gwyneth paltrow That's hasn't already done something like this well yeah i'm thankful for that so thank you mariah for sending that in and just really making my holidays start red. Uh, okay, I saw this and this is kind of like a serious topic, but I really wanted to talk about it because I was like, oh my God, that's me. Isn't it weird how so many versions of you exist in people's mind? Some know you as the shy person that doesn't talk. Some see you as the annoying person that won't shut up. Some see you cold and mean. Others find you caring and kind. So I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? Yeah because around certain family situations, I'm kind of really quiet and shy. And then here I'm loud and annoying, won't shut up. And then in other situations, I'm never cold and mean, but I would say I'm uncomfortable and weird. Yeah, I, that is interesting to me. Like I wish, I do wish everyone in real life could also get like the version of you when you're very close to somebody. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. You're just a little more shy and reserved. Okay. Is that mean? No, it's, <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's the truth. Or even like, like when you're in a relationship, like I saw this meme or something on Instagram and it was like this guy and his girlfriend and he was like very like, you know, cool guy. But then his girlfriend was secretly recording him and he was like, baby, do you want to go get some Sonic? Oh, and I was yeah. just like, oh my God, does everybody do that? Cause we kind of talk in baby voice. Uh, a, a lot of couples do some variation of baby voice. I know like pretty much every couple of, like friend that's in a relationship does that right you don't no i do too oh okay yeah what I is think it's your a pretty common thing what are your vibes <laughs> i'm extremely shy like almost almost always especially if it's like a large group of people i don't really know what to do if it's like a friend and it's like a small get together like this and like let's say you, you and i were hanging out mm -hmm. and you were like oh this is my friend chris and like i was introduced and like maybe i can talk but if it's a party with a lot of people I panic and I'm shy and I I don't know I can't like I have a very hard time talking at first so I'm oftentimes the guy at a party that's like with a drink in the back like by themselves like <laughs> the reason I was so fascinated by this is because I have certain friends where I can be with that friend and not say anything we're not talking we're quiet yeah and you would look at it from the outside and be like oh god like this is so boring what are they doing but for me I enjoy that and I think it's like, yeah, I could say I'm shy around certain groups of people, but in reality, I think the real me, the genuine real me is really quiet, really shy, and like a little bit depressed. And I feel like when I'm that person really around like. you, it means that I, I, I love you. Do you know what you're I mean? You're comfortable. But you're yeah. also- It's like falling asleep. You can only fall asleep when you're comfortable somewhere. Right. So you're if you also... fall asleep at someone's house, it's like you feel comfortable there. Right. But what fascinates me though, is you're like also so hilarious and yeah. so funny. And sometimes you just don't give that to people. That's with anything though, right? It's like uh, humor, it, it's a reaction. It's not an action. So like you have to be in an environment that's either observationally funny, you have to be in a vibe or else it's just, what are you performing for people? You know well, what I mean? So I'm, I'm with you. Cause there are moments where I'm like trying being hilarious and whatnot at a party. And the next time I'm not, you know, right. but I'm with you. I get it. God, I didn't mean for this to get so deep. But it's a Thanksgiving episode. I guess we might as well. With um, that voice, you know it's getting deep. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. That's the um, it's getting deep voice. <laughs> Anyways. I, I, I also think like if, in the video, like it, people are different at different stages of your life too. Like, you know, before I was out and I was trying desperately hard to come across what I thought a straight man right. acted like, that's like a very different version right. of like my authentic self now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so friends that met me at that point and then we maybe haven't talked in many years would meet me now and would be like, you're not the same person anymore and i'm like this is the real me especially you know? today <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean people will experience different versions of you also if you're just exhausted yeah. or having a bad day or something right. or i don't know i, don't know. I think i'm pretty consistent <laughs> <laughs> like I think i'm like <laughs> perfect it's crazy <laughs> no, i'm not saying i'm perfect i'm just no, saying you are and no, no no i'm not saying that by any means but like i think you are more of like you're very like punchline funny you're like more like comedian almost whereas like i'm pretty much like even kiltered all the way around like i'm never like killing a room and i'm never like bombing you know right 
but that's also probably because we're so emotional. Like things mm. affect us and how we are. No, I mean. Yeah. Do... No, I get, I get that. I'll soak up energies for sure. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes not good energy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I get moody for sure. Oh yeah, no. You but I'm still consistent. <laughs> yeah, you can be a real asshole. I was just glancing at the comment section and somebody's like, I just know Ryland's a Karen sometimes. And I was like, you're not wrong. <laughs> you are. Like the other day, you almost started a fist fight in a parking lot because somebody took our spot. What? And I was like, we can just park two seconds away. Yeah, okay, you're right. Yeah, you yeah but on principle, you got to fuck them up. Huh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's about being consistent. Yeah. Like right. today, when that person was going 15 under the speed limit, I was going to run him okay. off the fucking road. The and I'm like, listen, five under the speed limit's fine, but 15, I got to be my fucking Karen. You tailgate so hard. And we literally, <laughs> no, at no, the moment, I we try to have, give people grace. Karen? It, yeah, if you're going 15 under the speed limit, you're asking for me to ride your yeah, ass. I know. So we were in the car today. So we have our car seats, our baby car seats in because we're trying them out. And we were driving around and he's tailgating somebody to the point of almost crashing. Literally, we're on a street where so many people have died that it's haunted. Okay, wow. Well, a haunted street. How he's, spooky is it that you guys are driving around with empty <laughs> car seats on this spooky ass road? What are you guys doing? Like <laughs> obstacle? Like testing them out? Like, all right, stop. See how they do. When bitch in when front of me is going 15 under the speed limit. We're only going 30. My babies are fine. Well, yeah, maybe she's she's memorializing somebody on this sad road. And that's what I have to remind myself. <laughs> Give them grace. Maybe they're having a bad day, but I just, you know, sometimes yeah. my blood boils and the Karen jumps right out. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> hey, sorry to interrupt the show. I know what you're thinking. Shane, why are you wearing a pink beanie? Is it to match your hope you enjoy whatever the hell this is hoodie on sale now? No, it's because my hair is fucked up. Like I know usually when I do a hair story ad, I'm showing you guys my hair and I'm like, look what it did to me. Look how it changed my life. This is gonna be a little bit different. This is gonna give you the worst case scenario. This is gonna show you what my life is like without hair story. <laughs> so I actually ran out of it a couple days ago. I ordered it. I was like, I need my hair story right now because I washed my hair with shampoo the other day. I know, I had to wash it with something and all I had was like dandruff shampoo and it completely fucked up my hair. Like my hair is so bad, so bad that Ryland even said, what's going on? And he never notices stuff like that. So I cannot wait till my hair story gets here because I've been wearing beanies, I've been putting my hood up and it really did show me how much hair story has done for my life and for my head. So yes, today's podcast is sponsored by Hair Story. So if you don't already know, Hair Story makes something called New Wash, which has changed my life. It's not a shampoo, it's a cleansing cream. And here's how it works. So when you're in the shower, instead of doing the shampoo and the conditioner and all those steps, all you have to do is use new wash. It cleans your hair. It doesn't strip it of anything. There's no chemicals in it. Normal shampoo is full of chemicals. It strips your hair. That's why they tell you don't wash your hair more than like twice a week because of what shampoo does to your hair. I mean, should I take the beanie off? Do you want to see this? Let me just show you. This is what shampoo does to your hair. What is happening? <laughs> Did I use a crimper? Okay, okay, now I'm self-conscious. Oh, this is bad. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oof. <laughs> this is a mess. Should I just refilm this when my hair story comes? No, no, I'm gonna keep it real. This is my life right now. So New Wash uses all natural ingredients, nothing chemically, aloe vera, sunflower seed oil, different oils that'll help your hair, not hurt it. So if you haven't tried New Wash yet, please check it out. I promise you will love it. Just go to hairstory.com and use code GROWER to enjoy 20% exclusive savings when you try New Wash for yourself. That's hairstory.com and use code GROWER at checkout. So please give it a try. I promise you won't regret it. And I am gonna go shove my head in a hole and never look at anybody until my New Wash comes. Bye. <laughs> Let's jump into some of your guys' emails and voicemails. Okay, this is so cute. So this is from Chelsea. And she said that she met me and Ryland six years ago on the Santa Monica Pier. Wow. And I have pictures. So here we go. So here's three of us. Oh my gosh. I got so wasted that night. <laughs> you, you do remember. <laughs> yeah. And then that's you and her. Yeah, you were Oh, oh my gosh. That was in do our- Do you remember? You, we got so drunk and we wanted to try these this burrito place. I know. And you were so full and drunk and sick that you made yourself throw up so we could go get a burrito. I was And I was so like, marrying cool. him. <laughs> and then here's a picture of her and her husband now wearing grower Oh my God. Oh. The couples wearing the matching merch is so cute. Everything. I love it so much. So uh, shout out Chelsea, we love you. Um, okay, next, this was kind of like sexy. Or that's Ooh. weird to say. Nah, you, <laughs> Look at this sexy. email. This is from Robin. Shout out Robin for sending me this email. She said, my boyfriend Dave is a hot ass sexy grower and I could farm his crop all day long. <laughs> Absolutely mm. addicted to the podcast, been a fan for 10 years now, and your merch is iconic. And she sent a picture 
of her and her boyfriend in the grower merch and look at them. This is honestly is so cute. It the is couples posing. are wearing the matching shirts and the way that it came about. I know. Like this might be the best set that has ever been come to fruition out of your merch lines. Yeah, I love it. So thank you so much. That was like, I love that. I love like the, um, you know, cause usually it's like a, like my husband's a grower, <laughs> yeah. which we love that too. But she's like, my husband's a fucking grower. She loved it. The I mission is what? working. The mission I guess is it working. is kind of satisfying. Like if, no, I'm just saying like, if you go from soft to hard and you feel like, oh, I did, I that, did that. Cause there's such a good payoff. Right. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is from Araby. She said that she hopes this makes it on the podcast. She loves the podcast. And on her Bumble, she mentions our podcast because she thinks that if they don't get her humor and they don't watch a podcast, then they're not for her. That's amazing. That is of the biggest honor. So here is her Bumble page. It says, no. I'm tired of this grandpa. I don't know what that means. I'm tired of this grandpa. That's too damn bad. I'm honestly just trying to find somebody who will wear grower and farmer merch. Look at that. And take pictures of the pumpkin patch with me. Bonus points if you know what I'm talking about. I love that that's like something to aspire. Like a couple that's so strong that wear the matching grower and farmer merch. But also, if you don't know about the podcast, would you be like, what? <laughs> well, no, but then it's a good conversation starter. They can be like, hey, what does your bio mean? Right. And well, she can send a link to our podcast. It's great promotion. Well, I thought that was great. And if you find love, please let us know so that we can, you know, be a part of it. Oh, okay. This is from Ariz. Interesting. I've never heard that mm. name. Ariz. Like Ariz. Ariz. With a Z. I like they said, that. Hey, Jane, I saw this plant in my town and it reminded me of the grow merch and I thought I'd send it. And it's a potted <laughs> plant. Now, okay, listen, I have, I have an issue with this. <gasps> yeah, because it's a grower that's a shower. Yeah, it's that's not that's not it's, uh, you know what I mean. It's that's on the cusp. Of, it's on the cusp of showing not, more it's, than it's, show growing. It's, it's, yeah, listen, I mean it's hanging down past the ball sack. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't mean that it's not a grower because it, it if it grew five times the size, know, then it's still a grower. I know, but come on, like like we're you talking about the majority of growers here. We don't want them to lean in. We want them to be all in on this. Yeah, yeah. that's that's lean. I want somebody to be like, is that a fucking belly button? So we're all. Ostracizing the grower. What I will say though is they did get the little like fupa right. The, the little like, fupa. That, <laughs> that like fat, that, that it, fat chunk. Wait, I don't have any of these. You're making me feel like I'm not a grower. You don't have a fat fupa chunk? Well, you're skinny. Oh, no. um, okay. <laughs> um, this was interesting and I wanted to read this because I've had this on my list uh, for almost six months and I keep not reading it. I'm going to finally read this. Okay. This is an email from Tori. Um, and the subject is uncircumcised dicks are hot. Fair enough. True. Uh, okay, LOL. I'm Tori, and I've been watching uh, this week's episode. I have some opinions on circumcision uh, to make men feel better. I think uncircumcised shit is so hot. I don't know what it is about that extra skin, but it turns me on. <laughs> now, if they have schmegma, aka oh. dick cheese, Ugh, that's yeah. when I'm like, clean your dick. Am I weird to say that I'd like to clean a guy's dick for him? I feel like that's a loving favor to do for a partner. I also think that would turn me on as well. Now, obviously, uncircumcised men are hot too, and dick is still dick. I'm sorry, love the podcast. Wow, she loves a dick. So wow. I wanted to share that because I feel like we don't talk about uncircumcised dicks. Are you uncircumcised? You don't no, remember his traumatizing story right, that he got one. circumcised yeah. as an adult? I feel like we yeah. don't talk about it enough. And I just want to give a shout out to all those uncircumcised growers out there. Shout out. Because yeah, that must be... There's probably more uncircumcised looking. men in the world than not. Yeah. It's very America. I, I loved her just dick is dick. Amen. Dick is dick. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> How would all you, dicks it, are good dicks? <laughs> How would you respond well, to that via text? Okay. <laughs> if that was like a text someone sent you. Not cool, like LOL. But I am... <laughs> Okay, so I have some voicemails. Now this first one, oh, I'm just gonna play it. Hi Shane, um, so me and my boyfriend are very, very risky and we've been caught multiple times making out um, in my car okay. <laughs> by his aunt. Oh. But the worst thing is that um, whenever we have sex, um, we do it in his bed and sometimes I squirt and whenever his mom comes over, to um, sleep, she sleeps in his bed and she found the chains and knows that we're having sex. So I don't know if I should be worried about that. Um, please give me advice. Um, thank you guys so much. And um, I love the podcast. Okay, I love y'all. I think you need a second set of sheets. <laughs> yeah, put some plastic down. And, and just you wash know? 
the sheet. No, like, I mean, there's a lot of options. Well, it's a stain. Yeah, change oh. sheets. There's so many options. Yeah, there has <laughs> to be so some time options. in between the squirting and the mom getting in the bed. That just doesn't you seem know? sanitary. That's kind of gross. Like, for well, the mom. Well, it could leave a stain, though. Like, even if it's washed, Shane has a good point. It could still leave a stain. But I still like having a backup set of sheets. Yeah. You pop one off, you pop one on. Do yes, you think the mom sheets. would know what it is? Like, hey, is that well, squirt? That's, that's, what, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if I'd worry about like it. Like, a squirter knows oh, a squirter. Yeah, yeah. Right. I think that's not cool for the mom, personally. Yeah. I don't. Why is the mom sleeping in his bed? Yeah, that's bed? weird. Shit. I don't want to sleep in anyone's <laughs> no. dirty sheets. No, exactly. Guys are coming, girls are squirting. It's not a safe place. Yeah. Clean or change the sheet. We'd have That's to, the solution. We'd have to really analyze that, you know, to understand. I, I, I don't the, know. There's one is, bed available, I guess. This is their bed that she sleeps in? Yeah, that's what I'm confused about. So Why is mommy sleeping There's no option for her to sleep anywhere else? Bed. There's not like a couch. That's what I'm like... saying. There's something going on here. <laughs> I don't know squirt. if I want to know more. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Next voicemail. Oh, my God. It's me again, the guy from Bakersfield. Um, from Bakersfield. I need your guys' help. Oh. My friend married a gay guy, like one of those in the closet gay guys. <sighs> and I have a question. Should I tell her or should I just let him be? You should have told her before she got married. I need your guys' help. Please help me out. That is... <laughs> Eek. I feel like mm. everyone, like whenever this happens, I feel like I at least give a couple hints. I'm like, we sure? Whenever this happened? How many times has this happened I feel like twice <laughs> in my life. Okay. I try not to meddle in others' relationships at all, no matter what. Mm -hmm. You know? It's like, would you tell your friend if you saw them getting cheated on? You yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> would you, is this like the same thing? Or like, I don't know enough about this. Well, like, to me, I just feel like it's a recipe for disaster. You're going to get hurt way more in the long run if the guy is in fact gay after you've built a life with this person, had kids with this person, fell more in love with this person. Yeah. So it's like, if you're not going to ask the hard questions, maybe I should hint at the hard questions. <sighs> I think I would let them figure it out between themselves personally. I think what- Your I, best friend? <laughs> maybe there's a way to say, cause you know, listen, if you're in a relationship with a gay guy who's actually a gay guy pretending to not be a gay guy and you're willing to marry them kind of secretly knowing that something is off, then there's kind of something with you that you need to talk about in therapy. Usually the woman knows or knows and, be, and they choose a gay guy because of a safety thing, comfortable, they, they wanna be with somebody that it's like, if, right. You know, it's there's usually a reason. It's usually not a totally random thing where it's like, I had no idea that he was gay. They always kind of And know. even if it's not spoken out loud, they Hold have a on, hunch. A it's like my mom always knew I was gay before I confirmed it, right. you know? Well, see, my parents didn't know at all. That's the thing. Like, I and I, I know gay men who have, like, zero tells and no one knows. I know gay men from high school who still aren't out and are gay and are fucking dudes on Grindr and stuff. But, like, no one to this day knows that they're gay and no one would ever think it because they have zero tells. And, like, if they were in a relationship, I don't know. I feel like they could trick someone into thinking they're straight. <laughs> but if you're a guy who, and this is getting really deep in it, but if you're a guy who is so good at hiding that you're gay and you're out fucking guys on Grindr, would you really want, want to, to get, get married? married to a woman? I feel like guys who want to get married to a woman are guys who are like religious or have an issue with it. And or probably haven't, haven't not. come out to themselves yet. But if they're actually fucking guys on Grindr. Yeah, well, I don't think guys that are fucking guys are marrying girls. Sometimes culturally, sometimes jobs are super homophobic. Sometimes for a million factors, they feel the need to. They feel like they have to. And I think if I know that your husband, your soon to be husband is matter of fact fucking guys, I'm definitely going to go in there and ruin that shit for you. Right. Um, okay, well, speaking of divorce, <laughs> Dude, yeah. uh, right segue. <laughs> let's have another fight with Jamie Riley. <laughs> you have another one? Okay, so this was sent to us. Well, here, let's take oh, a look. Oh, this is a submission. Yeah, so this is going to be a fight, and we have to referee Thank it. God, I, thought you were I love the new segment. <laughs> Hey, Ryan and Usain. This is for the fighting podcast, I guess. So I have a fight that me and my husband had. So I recently flooded the house because I kind of got a little drunk, and I think my medication mixed with the alcohol, and I fell asleep in the shower. So I flooded the house. Okay. But uh, when I woke up, he was mad at me, but he could have checked on me. You know, I was asleep for an, like about an hour or two, and it was a stand shower. But I feel like he could have checked on me, and... Yeah, I don't think you should be mad. I mean, I don't know. We did have to pay like $6,000 in repair, but luckily we had house insurance. But yeah, I hope you guys are on my side, not his. Love <laughs> you, and congrats on the twins. 
Um, I, I have questions. <laughs> I think she just uh, admitted to house insurance fraud, which is... No, wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think if you fall asleep and leave your shit on, they probably had I mean, to that's say... An that accident. The, they probably had to say that the plumbing broke. Well, okay, I have a question. She... Okay, hold on. She was drunk and high on pills or something and fell asleep in the shower and flooded the house. It got mad at him. Why would the... Why would the house flood if she's in a shower? She said it's a standing shower. So it's shower. Like, so did her you, body fall on the drain? Yeah. Is that what happened? That's a good logistical That's question. I think, question. Yeah. She must have been pretty fucked up to not wake up with it. Like, How would her body fall? On the, was her ass on the drain? Like, I'm trying to like visualize how this happened. Yeah. How most my shower, if I fell, I would fall through a door. Or my body would just <laughs> blow, 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 down, and it would definitely cover the vent. Okay. So, so I guess, <laughs> yeah, I think her body, right. It had to be covering the vent for it to, uh, to, to flood. Why is she it. mad at him? Because <laughs> it, it, because she thinks he should have checked on her for taking an hours long shower. Right. Which I will say, like, if I knew you were showering and it had been like an hour and a half, I'd be like, what the fuck is he doing? Right. So I might walk up there, but maybe he was watching a movie. I think, like, what if she died or something? It was because it was medicine and alcohol. Like that could lead. Okay. To- I think I'm my on her side. Would- I think. Okay. Uh, no, I no, think no. If we- Wait, what? I'm on her side. I, I think, think he my- should have checked on her. I think my thing, if I was your partner, I would be like, okay, well, if we're taking our medication and drinking. Maybe we shouldn't be showering. Wouldn't she have made a thud? You shouldn't. Oh, he had to have been. <laughs> high, he had to have been high and drunk and passed out himself. Did she say it was something she doesn't normally do? I'm trying not to judge. I, I, I do think though that if your husband was asleep, then you can't really get mad at him. You know, like what is he supposed? Well, to no, do? she's upset. He's mad at her. Oh. He wanted him just to not be mad and be like, "This is fine, babe." He, here's Shit the thing: happens. people should be able to have anger without directing it at an individual. I think maybe he's just really upset at the situation, circumstance, and he should maybe work on not directing his anger towards right. her. You maybe know call I mean? your doctor and see what medication. That yeah, is. it is Definitely. a bummer. Like, oh, a flooded house sucks. Yeah, that's because the then worst. you have to get the walls checked for moisture. Blah, blah, blah. Did we already talk about? I think we did. I lived did in we, a hotel for six months because of it. Oof. Did we yeah. talk about when I passed out in the shower? We did. We did. Right? What? I think we did, and I was naked in Florida. What? And you? Never mind. No. What? No, it was on Mom's 40th birthday. Did we talk about that? What? I've I never heard this story. I don't know. I don't remember. I, 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 I think you were there, or maybe you weren't. Oh, you were at I, school. I, sh- I should have been. Right. I pa- long story short, I passed out in the shower, cracked my head open on the <gasps> faucet, and then my mom came in on her 40th birthday. Happy birthday, mom! Shout out. And um, <laughs> blood everywhere. She thought I was dead. At least and the house didn't blood. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I know. And then she turned around. And then my head was just a big open gashing. Oh my god! Wound. I think you were there. How old were if you? If I wasn't there, I do remember being notified, but I, I, <laughs> right. I, I remember it. Oh it was crazy. But what? I got to stay home for like a month. Why did you pass out? I do that sometimes, but it's not medication. I just pass out a lot, or not what? a lot, but I, I not in the seven years I've known you. It's so happened a couple times. Anyways, what? <laughs> I get dehydrated. Oh, humid. In humidity, I have panic attacks. You've, yeah, yeah. If there's humid air, I'm passing out, baby. He I, almost passed out yesterday because of yeah. it. Drink liquid IVs, be okay. Electrolytes. Boom. Did I ruin your headphones? Well, you should have been using Raycons because the quality is so good. My scream just now wouldn't have blown up your eardrums. It would have been like echoey and beautiful and going through your head. (laughs) That actually sounds horrible. (laughs) But whatever, you get my point. Today's episode is sponsored by Raycon. Let me explain how amazing Raycon is. Don't go anywhere. Let me explain. So when I do one of these sponsorships, they send me a paper and I'm supposed to kind of go over all the things that they want me to talk about. And see, what I do is I ignore that and I talk about whatever the fuck and I hope to God they don't see this (laughs) and request me to make changes. But with Raycon, I actually did start reading this and one of the ideas they had they said it may be too early to start decorating for the holidays but it's never too early to start your holiday shopping and i was like wow raycon do you know me at all i started decorating for christmas in october i started holiday shopping in last christmas i literally the night after christmas i went online and i went to all the sales and i started buying gifts for the next year that's how psychotic i am i mean that's how much i love christmas that's how festive i am that sounds healthier So yes, if you're like me and you want to start holiday shopping early, check out Raycon because you could literally save up to 50% on their site right now because they are having an early Black Friday sale. So you've seen me talk about them before. I've shown you clips of me using them in the gym, which I regret because yuck. But I wanted to show you how amazing they were. 
and how they could even make me look cool. Ooh. Raycons are amazing. They are so affordable and they're high quality. So just because they're affordable doesn't mean they're cheap. They're amazing quality. You could literally get, oh my God, for the price of one pair of other headphones that are out in the world, you could get like two pairs of Raycons. That's how affordable they are. They also don't just come in white, they come in black, they come in rose gold, they come in like a shiny blue. And they have perfect in-ear fit so they don't fall out of your ears when you're running on the treadmill or running around Christmas shopping. And their Magic 180 cable allows you to charge iOS, micro USB, and Type-C devices eight times faster with 100 watt power delivery. So to check out all their sales, they have a bunch right now on their website. Go to buyraycon.com slash grower and you'll get 20% off of everything on their site and 50% off on some select products. That's buyraycon.com slash grower to get up to 50% off. So check it out, save some money, get the pink ones, the rose gold pinky ones, they're so cute. They match your beanie. I'm never wearing this beanie again. <laughs> All right, enjoy the rest of the episode, bye. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you guys are gonna hate me. Now, listen, before we get into the real t food tasting of it all, okay. Sarah sent me an email and said, hey, I know <laughs> hey, I know that Chris does not like eating bananas in front of straight people. I don't remember that <laughs> conversation. Don't? Yes, that's the thing. Mm, no, I don't know. I'm just like, there are certain things that make me feel weird. Like putting, I don't know, putting so, chapstick on in front of people makes me what? feel weird. Eating bananas in front of people. So this going, is straight like, torture for Chris? <laughs> Wait, is well, it straight no. people or just anybody? Especially straight people. I don't know why. Huh. <laughs> and I like, think you uh, need and to like, work that out with your therapist. Uh, I need a therapist. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Well, <laughs> Sarah said that she has a new way for Chris to eat bananas. Okay. Um, so I'm going to show you guys this TikTok. But I'm only going to show you the first five seconds of this because the way she eats a banana is kind of confusing and I don't think it's going to oh. work. Thank you, Sarah. Wow, let me I can't imagine what I'm about to see. <laughs> but let me show you something really fun. Good morning. I'm going to demonstrate how I open and eat a banana, first of all. Secondly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? I've seen that. No, okay. I, I how? Like this? I don't know, but we're trying this. I think the okay. goal is just to go as fast and well, quick I know. as possible. I was going to show you how I open a banana. Oh, I oh, know. You just... I, so, okay. You know what? I'll show you how I open a banana and then you guys try the head thing. No! So this is how I do it. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Isn't that crazy? It's like a garlic. It does it like perfectly. Yeah. What? <laughs> I thought it was gonna like explode or like something no. or like. So yeah, so that's neat. how I open a banana. Oh my and God. And then I have half and I put half in the fridge. Why did uh, that blow my mind? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's try uh, the head Ow. one. So she just went, boom. Wait, it did hurt. she? I wait. feel like it's what you're doing. She did like just, this. Yes. I tried. So she went. Her, her technique Wait. is just on point. It's Wait, gonna give you a headache. Oh, it worked. Okay, K kinda. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> more difficult than you. Okay. You need like okay. a very crispy. Okay, so it's pulled, just. I feel it's like just, she put her head in. Yeah, it it's. Too. I gotta commit. I okay. just gotta commit. Stop bullshitting, Jared. Do this. <laughs> Three, two, one. I can't do it. <laughs> that that hard. Are you hard. Okay, wow. you okay. Don't don't. Are it you did. Okay? Split. <laughs> oh, it did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the thing I'm is, down on myself. it like creates a dent in your banana. So if you don't eat it right away, I feel like the half you leave out has like a forehead dent. Your right. method is much better. Right. <laughs> just yeah. pulling it with force. But uh, that you was should just skill. go into a 7-Eleven and do that. <laughs> like, I'll just take one banana. <laughs> <laughs> I love a banana. That'd though. be great. Me too. <laughs> um, okay. Now this is another uh, thing I saw that... You like lemons, right? Love them. You would say you're a big old lemon lover. Connoisseur. Big old lemon head, really. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna play you a little video. My favorite way to eat a lemon is to eat it whole. Rind, seeds. No, fuck you. In your blender, add an entire lemon, three dates, a small piece of ginger, a dash of cinnamon, a splash of vanilla, a tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of honey. I thought this was Top it off with a cup and a half of water. Blend it on high for 30 seconds or until completely smooth. This is like a wellness shot. I'm gonna love it. A whole lemon with the peel. Pour it over your ice and notice how rich and creamy it looks. Yeah. Oh, so good. I'm gonna love this. With the whole fucking thing with this the seed. This is not with a the, weird with food With the comment. peel? I'm into it. Well, wow. here we go, baby. I made some earlier. <laughs> mm. Nice. Now, now, I did look at the comments, and um, it said that dentists do not approve of this, and it actually yeah. strips your teeth. Because all the oh, acid. Nice. Yeah, lately I've been doing, like, a ton of lemon water when I first wake up, and I've noticed my teeth, like, feel like there's a layer of... Oh, it's not good for you. No. <laughs> like, that much acid is bad. It's like a fucking smoothie. Yeah. Wow, it looks really nice, Here we though. go. Happy lemon. I just feel like I'm gonna die. My guard, it's gonna kill me, you know? No, that's not it. Oh, I mean, it's not good. Ah! 
That ain't oh it, Oh my though. god! Oh my god! I would like it if we didn't do the pill. Like, yeah, the pill. Like, if we it. peeled the lemon. Well, that's the point. Is she, she likes the peel. That's why it's crazy. Horrible. When it settles down, it has kind of a nice flavor, but it's, like, really harsh off the rip. I don't know. That was the grossest thing uh, I think I've ever had. The peel had. does get, like, stuck in places yeah, in your mouth. Disgusting. Please stop making bougie shit like this like you're really drinking, people. Yeah. We know you ain't drinking that. But please keep doing it and send it to us. Yeah, so we can try it at least. <laughs> do you guys know who Adrian Balan is? Hell yeah. Oh, no, no I don't. You don't? No. Why do you I say love her. oh like you did? You know who she is. It was is. a quick fake out. You'll know who she is. Okay. okay. Adrian Balan. So she is from Cheetah Girls. She was in 3LW. Say what? Oh. Say what? What? I, yeah, I feel bad that I didn't Maybe say it. Right. She was on The Real on for the real. all the seasons. So she is known. Sunny News right now. So she is also known for um having weird flavor combinations. Ooh. And she posted this video, and I cannot believe it's not viral. <laughs> and, uh, well, let me just show you it. Next, we are going to go in with. I love her. Guys, good old canned chicken noodle soup. My son loves this, and one day I was making it for him, but I just felt like, oh, this is so boring, this is so basic. Yeah. It's off, what do you have in the fridge that can make this like... Self. Mm, I knew she was gonna dance. <laughs> and I found some hazelnut creamer <laughs> in the fridge, and I was like, I feel like this. What? <laughs> it's delicious. What? And so, Lana on the sidelines, have you ever had tum yum soup? <laughs> like what? What? Like creamy, it's not tum yum soup. It's soup. That's the vibes. Oh, freaking amazing. <laughs> We're gonna be no sick. Way. Yuck. <laughs> All right. So oh, I'm take shoot. the soup. I mean, it's already gonna be gross because it's cold and uncooked. That's what Adrian said when her crew tasted it and they said it was disgusting. She said it's because it's cold. Ooh, man, I feel like a barista. Ooh, so woman. she did kind of a lot. Okay. Are you guys ready? I feel like I might barf. Oh. Yeah, this is rough. I might barf okay. even without the cream. Three, two, one. <laughs> Adrian, man, you must be high as fucking <laughs> that shit. I like it. <laughs> Do you? I love it. Shut up. I might throw up. It tastes like creamy corn chowder. Oh my God. Think about the, uh, think no, about I the corn. I don't want to think about it. I <laughs> no, don't want to think, think about think it. Think about oh the God. corn chowder at El Torito Ugh. on Sundays, the brunch. I would say I think good. Maybe there's a combination that <laughs> oh. works in there, but I don't think I got it. I'm in. Well, don't worry. We have something to wash That's it sour down. sour candy. Okay, we have something else for you. All right, here we go. So let's go to something that I think is kind of basic. Okay, for me. basic. And yeah. it is, Drinking first game. of all, you know that I love a good Hawaiian pizza. Yeah, me too. I love bacon pineapple is bacon. my go-to order. Basic pineapple. I love a Hawaiian pizza. Yeah, yeah, me too. Do I love some bacon pineapple, but I also make- Why does she have to I, add the cream? What is she? <laughs> that I dip it into. What? Yes. It's too much cream. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> she's, I love her. She's just a troll. This can't be real. <laughs> She's putting hot sauce on the cream. This is a troll. This, can't, like, <laughs> this is not real. Yes. Watch how she mixes yes. it. <laughs> she really Shut dunked up. it. <laughs> well, we have here. No. This is basic. Come on. <laughs> this, this is basic. Is, come on. What? And she has like, a pizza. Yeah. This, like, she's messing with people, right? Like, she has to be. I, I thought maybe she was until I tried that soup, and I'm like, Tim Yum, yes. Is she just so <laughs> stuck? <laughs> How do you come up with this? Like, ready whip and hot sauce on pizza? Listen, you come from Disney Channel, you know a lot of fucked up shit. <laughs> this is Did you already try it? <laughs> Megan. I we were trying it. <laughs> Jared never it's making her malfunction. Us. Okay, okay, you other so, girls, let's cheers. So wait, she mixes it like this. Oh, to make, yeah. she makes I've it been is, mixing. I just, I'm dying can't. to try this. Is it but ranch? But ranch and Cholula is good. Yeah, but that's cool. Whip. All right, three, <laughs> two, one, let's go. Mm. No, no. Um, okay. no. Okay, this is a no. No. But at least I can swallow it. I could not. <laughs> Shane, Shane's vomiting over there. <laughs> <laughs> Shane and Okay, yeah, I, I, here's the thing, Adrian. I I see where you're going. <laughs> dude, fuck <laughs> this lady, dude. <laughs> Keep your weird shit to yourself. What is wrong with her? I'll be basic <laughs> all fucking day. <laughs> I don't shit, think I'll ever be able to eat pizza again. All right, well, don't worry. There's only one more thing. Oh, thing. shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, this is the fucking finale. This is the. Is this all from the same video? This is all yeah. from the same. It's like burning. 
Yeah, dude, that's rough, man. It feels <laughs> like it's just fucking my stomach up. Okay. Yeah. Give us a finale. Oh. No. <laughs> what, is she, what, is she no doing? what is she doing? No. What? And we've got chocolate milk. So that's tuna. No. Shut the shame. <laughs> shame. <laughs> I can't do yeah. that. Now, hold on. Okay. Here I'm going. You know I'm a dipper, so dipping it in. Are you? I hate, I, hate, I hate her. Why are you like this? What happened to you? Yeah. This what is sick. the fuck? This is fucking sick and twisted. Ooh. Adrian, what is wrong with I'll you? I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. I will say oh. that thank you. it's, um, oh. Oh. here's, here's what I'll say. It's a lot. Oh gosh, the smell's coming through. She needs like therapy or it's something. It's a lot more fun to just watch her eat these things than be presented with the food she's I'm trying. So this is like something that you give somebody when they're in a coma and they like wake up. <laughs> That's oh. how bad it stinks. Sniffing salts? Yeah. That, this is so bad. And this is. Oh, this is just a tuna. Oh my god. It <laughs> has even. Been yes. Wait, <laughs> Wait what tuna is yet? this? Oh, dude. What tuna dude, did yeah. you buy? Oh, no. I, I can't even see it happen. Yeah, did you oh guys season god. this? There's like pepper in it. I eat tuna oh, regularly, oh. and it doesn't look oh. like this. Well, how much? Oh, how much? Uh, a, a good, a good amount. I, Ew, I'm gonna, I'm gonna she this one. <laughs> she really likes to make things creamy <laughs> and sweet. I'm gonna. I All can't. Right. Ready? Hold oh. on. Hold on. Okay. I'm. I'm ready. Jared, you look, can put on your look pizza. Look at this. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. All right. I'm just gonna hope for okay. the best. Three, two, one. No, no. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can do it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it just like tastes it. like tuna <laughs> fish with <laughs> with a little <laughs> something. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I suddenly have mesophilioma. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is the, <laughs> this is the most subtle one all night. I like it. What? It's like a, how much? Um, did you make it a soup, Chris? How much chocolate milk? It's did a, you oh my god! Uh, it's making me do the dance. Oh, they're throwing uh, it up into a soup can. Wait, should I? Uh, Hold on. No, that's the worst thing Shane. I've ever had in my life. What? I'm just <sighs> I'm just fixing it. I need some. Oh my god! This trash oh has got to go to like god. the big trash can Adrian. immediately. Oh, I just eat the pizza it's alone. It's still in my mouth. I can still take That's what I'm saying. Cleanse yourself. Oh. That's good. Put the whipped cream in hot no. sauce. No, absolutely. I'm done. <laughs> That's oh. Adrian. I will no Adrian. longer be tortured. Put the whipped cream in hot sauce in it, Adrian. Don't, you hear me? Don't encourage her, dude. Wow. <sighs> well, thank you so much, Adrian Bailon, for changing Please my Please never life. make another one. I can't do this again. Please make so many more. I enjoy she watching hers. I just don't enjoy doing it myself. Oh, let's, let's be funny and make it delicious next time. <laughs> you know, Adrian? What if we did, like, cheese and bread? You know? <laughs> so we could... Think, <laughs> things that make sense together. Yeah, yeah. What about that? Oh, that was great. That was yeah. awful. Uh, all right, well, we're going to take a quick little break. I'm going to finish that soup. And when we come Ugh. back, <laughs> we'll have conspiracy. See you in a second. Oh, hi. All right, sorry to interrupt the show again, but I'm going to give some love to our sponsor today, which is SeatGeek. And I actually have a special guest who's going to come in in a second who's just cleaning up dog poop right now. God, look at her. She's beautiful. What am I doing? SeatGeek. So if you don't already know, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app in the world, and they have over 28 million downloads, and there is always something on SeatGeek to check out. They have so many shows. It's not just concerts. It's comedy festivals. It's literally anything that involves getting a ticket, they have it on SeatGeek. And with artists like Lana Del Rey, Jonas Brothers, and SZA on tour, you don't want to miss out. So SeatGeek takes all the tickets across the internet, and they put it on their app, and they give you the best prices available. They actually rate the tickets from 1 to 10, so if you see a little red dot, that means it's a bad deal, too expensive, don't get it. And if you see a green dot, it means this one's good. You're going to save money. Also, every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. And SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. Okay, where do my special guests go? So unprofessional. Hello? Um, where'd you go? I'm outside. I asked you to come in. I didn't hear you. You saw me. I literally waved and you looked at me and you like nodded. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. They saw it. It's on camera. Caught you. 4K. 1080. Okay, whatever. My question was, how many times have you seen Taylor Swift? Oh, well, three. And how many times did you see Geek? Every single time. And you saved money? Oh my gosh. Every time. Okay, good. Because you still spent thousands of dollars, but you... <laughs> he hung up on me. Call failed. Is my marriage okay? <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, yes, he has saved hundreds of dollars with SeatGeek for every time he has gone to see Taylor Swift. And when you think about it that way, you're like, okay, he wasted a lot of money because he saw Taylor too many times, but he also saved a lot of money. So like it balances out, right? So if you want to save money too, make sure to get SeatGeek. I will put the link in the description below and use code GROWER at checkout for $20 off of your tickets. That's $20 off when you use code GROWER. Okay, enjoy your concert or your show. And I'm going to go figure out why my husband is avoiding me. It's probably my hair. I figured it out. Okay, bye. <laughs> 
Okay, welcome back. <laughs> Sorry, it just really stinks in here. Uh, welcome back to Conspiracy Corner. Okay, so this first thing, it's not really a conspiracy, but when I tell you how angry I got when I found this out, this blew my mind. So, okay, what would you say is my number one used emoji ever? Oh, ah, uh, the cry laugh. I've never used that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just see. Okay, I'll let you know. The, my most used emoji uh -huh. ever is the praying hands. Oh, praying hands. Right? It's actually it's a, a high five. Well, that's the theory. Oh. So, literally, the praying hands... Now, this is not confirmed, and Apple has not confirmed or debunked this. Very but smart of them. the praying hands literally might be a high five. Wait, what? Look oh, at oh. And the, the things that you thought were God, like the light. <laughs> it's the might, friction. The motion of the high five. Whoa. Yeah, so if someone texts you like, hey, so-and-so passed away, you're like, high five. <laughs> you know? Yeah. The amount of times I've sent ah. high fives to your mom. Yeah. <laughs> If someone it's thinks like, that's I, a high five, it like, yeah, I'm conveying the wrong thing off it. That's terrifying. But here's the weird thing I will say, because I've thought about this. If you type in pray into your iPhone, this emoji will generate. Well, but did it at first? You know that's, what I mean? That's it, they I guess. probably, like, what if the woman, because there's like one woman who made all the emojis. I forgot her name, but there's like videos about it. So this woman created all these emojis, probably got paid fucking nothing. I didn't know <sighs> that either. Wow. Fiverr. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, they found her on Fiverr. Um, so she's the one that would know. So we'll, I'll try to figure it out. Maybe I'll try to get in contact with her. But all the emojis that she made, like maybe she did create a high five and then people thought it was prey and then Apple's like, well, we're not gonna say it's not. So then they just go with it. Yeah, they just go with the algorithm. It makes more sense. Yeah. Now there's also another emoji that's in this weird category. Is there another emoji that you can think of that might be something that it's not? Eggplant. Huh. <laughs> Let me look at my most recent- <laughs> Well, everyone videos. uses it as a right. dick. <laughs> I see that. Okay, I'll just give it to you. It's the poop emoji. So now the poop- Oh, I've never what? <laughs> Now the poop emoji, there is a theory. And once again, we don't know if it's confirmed or not but that, that is actually chocolate ice cream. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yo. I'm gonna uh, show you because mm. the actual ice cream cone emoji, if you look at it, it is the same shape. Oh my gosh. The same even curves, has... the same lines. Whoa. Whoa is and right. And just, just to make it even more clear to you, Here's a picture of the, that's the, look at And it, that the looks cone. more delicious than the vanilla cone. <laughs> I think the bottom is also the emoji for trash. Wait. Oh yeah. Oh my God, you're right. Is that it's chocolate poop trash? <laughs> An ice cream cone is just trash poop. They need to release, <laughs> petition to release the chocolate chip cone or the chocolate cone. So yeah, all these emojis are freaking me out guys. <laughs> this is pretty good. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Don't worry, these theories get even worse. <laughs> wow, that was peaking. <laughs> Listen, we peaked it, 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 poop. it freaked me out. Think about it. The praying hands. It's a high five. Guys, my mind's blown. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay, so this is an email I got from Julia, uh, and she sent me this picture because if you guys remember, we did a video a few months ago about Aldi, which is the grocery store where they create like knockoff versions of everything, right? Like Oreos, they'll create, you know, Schmorios. And the theory was that the actual companies that make these real items also make the fake Aldi version. So this, and I'm not saying this is confirmed, but this is a picture of the Baker's Treat cupcakes, which are like ripoffs of, you know, Hostess cupcakes. But inside of the box, the customer at Aldi found actual Hostess cupcakes. They accidentally no played. Way. At the fucking factory. No way. Now listen, once again, I don't know, maybe this is a hoax, a host. <laughs> what? I believe it. I do too, because I mean, when we did a lot of digging on other brands, we did find that a lot of these like name brands and knockoffs yeah. were made at the same facilities. Yeah, like all the cereal, Cheerios, all mm -hmm. that yeah. still is made by the same place that makes all the fake Aldi ones. Yeah. Grey Goose is just Kirkland. Wait, you can no, get are you, Kirkland vodka. And it's are you shitting me? Yeah. Wait, no oh way. My God. Kirkland makes. A lot of stuff that, that's like name brand good stuff. Great goods is expensive. I think my theory is either it's a mistake towards the end of the uh, end of the line. There was a packaging mix up or maybe they ran out of packaging and they're like, well, we can't just hold an order back. But and just put it in those. Either line. way, if it's at the same facility, the ingredients are probably similar or the oh, same. Identical. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's it hostess white labels through whoever's doing those for sure. Okay. Now, this is kind of a Mandela, but kind of not. This is very specific. But do you guys, you know Tootsie Pops? 
Mm. How many licks does it take till you get to the center? Of a oh, pup? The owl. Oh. Okay, so you know how when you would go when you were like you know ten years old, we'd go to the gas station and we get a tootsie pop, mm. and then always what, chocolate. What do you do with the wrapper? You look oh, for the star. Who look for the star? Yeah, the cowboy shooting star. And then what do you do when you find the star in the wrapper? Make a wish and keep it's it. It's white people shit. <laughs> what do you do? I thought you got a free one. <laughs> what is you get happening? a free one? Yes. You, go, you take the wrapper back to the gas station. You tell the guy, hey, I found the star, and he goes, oh, here's your free lollipop and they go thank you sir i right thought there. you made a wish what? and kept it oh you're so gay <laughs> <laughs> now this yeah. supposedly never happened yeah you make a wish there's and a keep whole it. thing on the internet tootsie pop came out and said Ooh. we've never given away free tootsies that's not a thing we do if there's a star on some and not on the other it's literally just because of the printer it means nothing it's not a game it's not a promotion it's nothing but i swear i swear on kirkland that we did this when we were young. I remember going to the AMPM and getting free tootsies. Jerry, right. help. I think, okay. I, I, okay. I, I, I think maybe it wasn't uh, a direct tootsie roll involvement, but I think it's hard if a couple of kids come in with a wrapper and say, I want a free 10 cent tootsie roll. Maybe we just had really cool AMPM people that bought into it. I don't know. Wow. But I do remember being told that. So yes. someone told me that. that I'm more heartbroken know? to hear that they weren't planning the star ones on purpose to make <laughs> us feel special when we got one. Wow. I'm sad that I didn't grow up with this. It sounds so fun. You it was you so didn't, fun. You've never you heard of it. Tootsie Pops? I've never heard. It's like you guys were speaking what? a different language. No, Chris. No, I know what a Tootsie Pop is, but everything <laughs> I was like, that you just said about the star and yeah. the experience and the You never gay? saw that? I know. Can you believe never that? Never heard of but it. I feel listen, like it definitely happened. Let us know in the comments. Did you ever get a free Tootsie from the rapper that had the star on it? Because I swear in my memory I did that. And I don't think I made that up. Also, remember, what was that gum that you can eat the wrapper? Zebra. Oh, yeah, zebra gum. You can eat the wrapper. You can eat what? the wrapper on any gum yes. that's a paper wrapper, actually. What? what? It's not good for you, but you can do it. <laughs> I've done it with Trident. Why wouldn't but... you just take the wrapper off? Yeah. Why not? I think your brother just told you about this when you were a kid. <laughs> I don't think that's like someone, widely known. Someone told me and said, hey, you can just eat the wrapper, dude. I heard you could eat the McDonald's cheeseburger wrapper. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> what the, is it's we'll made try it with the, the same one. No, we won't. I wouldn't eat it. Okay. We'll do it next time. Me, me and Jared have fun. Adrian will come on the show yeah. and we'll eat a wrapper together. <laughs> She'll be like, can we add some creamer? Okay. So for this next one, I'm about to airdrop. Does everybody have their phones on them? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm about to airdrop you a picture. Now, hold your judgment. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hold your judgment. So I got an email from, and I don't want to mispronounce this, but the name is X-O-C-H-I-L-T. So, so chilt. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to fuck it up. I don't want to fuck it up. Okay. They said this will settle the debate. Ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. If you go to your iPhone settings, <laughs> okay. go to display and brightness and turn on night shift mode. And at home, do this as well. Find a picture of the blue and black dress. It looks the same. Okay. Did you go to night shift? Yeah. You pressed it? Yeah. Okay. Now, what do you see? The same thing. Same thing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you still see what colors? White and gold. Yeah. Um, it's, right, well, <laughs> it's, ma it's matter of fact. <laughs> Well, they said if you, if you turn on night shift, you can see both colors. You can see white and gold, or you can see black and blue. Here, hand, uh, show me from that far away. Like, let me see okay. your They're phone. They're liars. Okay, let me try. <laughs> no, I just want to see like, uh, like clearer than ever white and gold. Like that's more clear. <laughs> that's more white and gold than my phone. There, yeah, there's not a chance in hell that you see black and blue. <laughs> I literally, it's black and blue, babe. No, this picture though is white and gold. I don't care if the real dress it's is black and blue. Find. We don't need it. Well, then why'd you bring it up? Okay, that picture though to me is black and blue, but it doesn't matter because- <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's bring chill, it up for the 30th time. It didn't work, it didn't work, but we tried it out. I, try, I just wanted to try. Okay, before I pull out my Karen, I'll just, let's change gears. You. <laughs> okay. Okay, this next theory is about Titanic, it's about us. Okay, it's this, about us. This actually freaked me out. So as you guys know, if you've seen Titanic, spoiler alert. I don't think somebody in this room has seen it. Okay. Ooh, this is Which is crazy. Wow. So obviously at the end, Rose is floating on the door. Plug your ears! And Jack is, you know, in the water and he's freezing and he's whatever. So then Rose sees him and what does she say? I'll never let you go. No. No, you're late. She goes, she goes, Jack, Jack. Jack, Jack. And then she breaks his hands off the door and then she she assumes he's <laughs> dead. So she lets him go. She's like, oh, they really go. Oh, they really go. And then he sinks, right? And he's on the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. Now, if he was actually dead, 
he would have floated. Dead huh. bodies float. Interesting. If he sank, that means he was just unconscious. No And he way. breathed in water as he was falling down, which if you rewatch the scene in the movie, the bubbles come out of his mouth, right? No way. And I always thought that was like a glit, like a fuck up in the movie. Like I was like, okay, James, you missed a spot. But no, <laughs> the bubbles are because he's breathing in water and he sinks to the ground. No way. Now, I Google, now I, this is like a big theory right now online. Even if she saved him, I there was no it. room. No, no, she was saved right afterward. If you remember in the movie, he sinks and then, is there anyone out there? Can anyone heal me? And then she grabs a whistle from the dead guy. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> so literally seconds away, he could have been saved because what happens is he was unconscious. He was having a hypothermic, I think it's stage three hypothermia and he could have been saved. Not my Leo. I know. So she killed him. Oh my God. Which listen, I know this is like such a debate. Like he could have fit on the door and this is not, and it doesn't matter. The movie is amazing and perfect as it's it is. So I don't care. I'm glad he died. <laughs> sure. Because she needed him to die so that she could live I mean, her this life. This is a real life story. What? No. <laughs> it's not. No. Um, but isn't that crazy? Could he have just been dead and not yet had his body filled up? Did he die why of being frozen? I didn't read into all the science because there was like a 10 page article about it. <laughs> I it, definitely feel like it's her fault. You know, I think we all agree. Yeah, let's definitely <laughs> blame sure, the woman. Yeah. For sure. Uh, I mean, she didn't do all she could. Mythbusters yeah. needs to do an episode. Is that show still I, on? I thought they did. I thought they, they did an episode about the door. Yeah. That there was technically enough room for them both to fit. But which now there was. that new theories oh, I are it was the opposite. No, I think there was room. Now oh. that new theories are swirling, they need to get back at it for part I two. Know. What are we going to do about it, though? <laughs> You know, when we find out. Well, I know now, if we ever go on a cruise, which I don't want to, and if the boat ever sinks, which I hope it doesn't, and then if we're floating and I'm fro- and You'll you, never you know let me I mean? go. No, never. Never let me go. No. He's not dead. That's um, so sad. I know. It's actually really sad. If you rewatch the movie and think about it like that. Dude, what a even... genius James Cameron was to put in a scene that's still making us think and talk. Yeah. Isn't that crazy Fucking that he James, still dude. has virality on the internet from a movie he made Look that many it. years ago? He knew it. He knew He's it. He's a genius. Hey, welcome back. I know what you're thinking. Shane, stop scaring us. I think that every time I look in a mirror. And yes, I refer to myself as us. There's a lot of people in here. So we want to give a big shout out to our sponsor today, which is Rocket Money. So if you haven't heard of Rocket Money yet, then you obviously haven't seen my new main channel video, Conspiracy Theories with Jeffree Star out now, because they sponsored that, which is crazy. Thank you, Rocket Money. They didn't know what the video was about, and <laughs> I hope they're not bad. Not that we like, you know, tried to expose a corporation or anything. But you know what? If I get sued by that corporation, luckily I'll have saved money with Rocket Money. What? So if you don't already know, Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. It's a personal finance app that helps you manage your subscriptions, lower your bills, build a custom budget, grow your savings, all in one place. So one of my favorite things it does is it helps you manage your unwanted subscriptions. I bet if you checked your phone right now and you went to subscriptions, you're probably paying randomly for things that you forgot about, like Facetune or... <laughs> Not that I am. I should be. But you know, different apps that charge you like a dollar a month. You're probably paying for a few of those, but luckily with just the press of a button, Rocket Money will get rid of all of your unwanted subscriptions for you. They also help you monitor your credit, which is huge because sometimes something will be on your credit that you did not know about and it'll totally ruin your credit. And then when you try to go get a loan for a car or a house, they'll be like, ooh, sorry, rejected because of this weird bill or whatever you missed five years ago. But when something like that pops up, Rocket Money will alert you and they'll give you tips on how to fix it. They also help you lower your bills and negotiate your bills for you. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill, upload it, press a button, and they will help get your bill lowered, which is crazy. You don't have to call and be like, hey, um, is there any chance I could like get this bill lowered? What was I just twirling? Oh my God. I'm going to shave my head today. <laughs> so to save more and spend less, join the over 5 million other members using Rocket Money today. Just go to rocketmoney.com slash grower or click the link in my description to get started for free. And you can also unlock even more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash grower to get started for free. So thank you so much to Rocket Money for sponsoring and thank you guys for watching. That was weird, but I mean it. Thank you guys. Why are you watching this? Read a book. Just kidding. Don't leave. Bye. Um, okay. So this isn't even really a theory either, but I put it in the conspiracy section because mm. honestly, I needed more to fill it up. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I have a new psychopath test. Ooh. Okay, everybody at home, get ready. Here we go. This was actually sent in by a viewer, Rachel. So I don't know if she created this on her own or if she found it, but here we go. I'm going to get one right for okay. once. This is the one. You and your two friends, so there's three of you, want to eat some cake, mm -hmm. but there are only two slices left. 
You have a knife and three plates. How do you handle splitting the pieces? My instinctive answer is I just give it to them, but what's the psychopath answer? <laughs> I take that fucking knife and I stab these bitches and I say I'm eating it all. No. Okay, good guess. No. So he's on the right check. He kills one, so two people get to share the piece, the cake. Okay, the answer is... Is the psychopath... Sorry, in my brain, it's like you cut it like rather than vertically, like horizontally or something. Oh, <laughs> sweetie. No! Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> the psychopath... <laughs> you use the knife to stab the third person so that the two remaining people each have a slice. Nice. Uh, That's how you do it. Yeah. yeah. I would have just stabbed both of them and eaten all the kids. That was extra psychopath energy. I like it. Yeah. I just want to be a psychopath. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Not even Kate can get you there. <laughs> well, let's see if this gets you there. This is from Cassie. She said, hey guys, I saw this and I thought of you. Let me know what you think. So this is a meme that was going around. I don't know how real this is, but I'm going to pretend like it is. And it says, I'm convinced if you like candy corn, banana flavored Laffy Taffy, or drink root beer, you're a psychopath. Candy corn, everything. Banana Laffy Taffy, mm -hmm. the only flavor they should ever the make. Best. And root beer, a diet, I'll drink it. Yeah, I like all Do you look in my uh, pantry or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, banana is the best root flavor. <gasps> banana root. And root, yeah. root beer is the best soda. Right. Yeah. Right. Agreed. So I guess we're all psychopaths. Hey, <laughs> Guys, we finally did it! Uh, I'm a psychopath? Yes! yes. It's like out one. I think you're a psychopath for thinking that. Right. <laughs> um, okay, Jared, you told me before the show that you have a theory about aliens. I do. Okay, what is it? Okay, so the other day I was driving, and I was looking at the clouds as I often do, and I saw this shape in the clouds, and it looked like an alien laying down with like uh, a capsule that was on his head, like a face shield that had lifted off. And I thought, you know how all people say aliens look the same, right? Yeah. What if what we're looking at is actually a super advanced suit? And it's not actually the alien that we're looking at, it's their advanced space suit. So they're in there. I'm taking it to the next fucking level. You ready for this? Do it, yeah. You ready for this? Remember the theory we talked about like a year ago that I strongly believe, which is that UFOs are actually humans in time machines? Okay. Those humans in time travel machines are in the fucking space suits. And that aliens are just time travelers in suits. And it's a fun joke to them, like, don't think we're aliens. Yeah, wait, what was the theory? Okay, how about this? How about this? I forgot, but I got flavored crickets. Ew! Oh! <laughs> Fuck you. You guys, I'm so sick of this. I totally you. forgot. I got an extra mile gas station by my house. Okay. Yeah. And they're all about the upsell. They always got something in the middle they're you trying had to, to do sell this you. On this episode? It's usually white chocolate candies. That, that didn't doesn't do make well. you sick? Tuna? And I don't know. Well, because they say uh, that the main push right now is trying to get people on an insect-based diet because it's easy to farm and it's cheap. Oh, no. That's why plant-based. They're trying to make us reptiles? The, the, the next no. thing is, oh, you know, being insect-based diet is what's best for you. So I just, I Are figured. Are you going to try one right now? Yeah, let's do I'm it. Not. Oh, I'll you're not. <laughs> well, you know what? You? you didn't try the tuna, so you got to try the cricket. That's why I feel like this is fair, but who else is going to try it? You want to try it, Ryland? No. <laughs> you want to try it? I don't know if I can. Oh, I okay, I Chris, I'll try it. Bacon and cheese or sour cream and onion? Oh, God. I don't know if <laughs> I can. Sour cream and onion. I want, I want to try, but I'm horrified. Here, bacon and cheese. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know if I can do oh. it. I don't know if I can do it. Oh. It's pumpkin spice. That was a I don't know if I can do it. Just the look of it. I don't know if I can do it. I really want Are to. Are there guts in it? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh. I already. Oh, my God. Ah! I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. It's like scaring me. It literally <laughs> is like a corn nut. What? Oh! No! No! You're not gonna snack on those like sunflower seeds. No, they're getting thrown in the trash. Well, no, I might oh. have them just so I can tell people, hey, would you ever eat a cricket? And then I give them the opportunity What's if they the say yes. What's the nutritional value? I feel like I'm gonna pass Oh, out. they're super good for you. They're four point, I've never even seen this, 4.3 calories. Oh, should we, do, we do an optical illusion or should we leave? <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Shit, myself. Is the podcast over? I feel like I'm gonna pass out. It's so Okay, you know so what? Gross. Let's just do one optical illusion and then we'll do a recap. This will freak you out. On the screen right now, there's a face. And what I want you to do is stare at the four dots in the middle. In a moment, but not yet. I'm gonna actually look at your ceiling and blink rapidly. There, you should see someone's face. If you don't believe me, just keep watching. Wait, what? Also, try your hardest not to blink. Wait, when do we start? At the end of this illusion. Right, already. You what so are we? What? We just stare? <laughs> We're supposed to be doing this already? Yeah. Now, if this optical illusion works for you. Oh my god, stop yelling at me! 
Alrighty. Now, just keep your focus on the oh, okay. for a couple more. He seconds. is aggressive. Oh, let's do this in ten. Wait, I just started. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. Seven, Don't blink. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now look at your ceiling and start blinking. Do oh my God! Someone? Is that Kobe? Kobe, <laughs> where the hell did he go? Was it Kobe? Is that Kobe? I think it's Kobe. I, I've I, actually, you know, I've done that before, and it, I was in the bathroom and I saw Kobe too. Is that Kobe? Oh my, I'm gonna cry looking up and seeing Kobe. Oh my God. <laughs> it's Kobe. What the fuck? Right? <laughs> That's amazing. How can we project images from our brains like that? I don't that? know. That's fucking wild. I don't know. You know what we should do now? Let's get a recap, baby. Thank Let's God. Let's end this fucking episode. <laughs> episode of the Shane Dawson podcast the boys are all dressed as iconic movie characters except for our black sheep Chris who's just a pumpkin spice latte hey uh, not just the pumpkin spice latte I'm kidding the iconic pumpkin spice gay ass fruity <laughs> latte the Peruvian latte thank woo, you woo. <laughs> uh, Ryland's a big old Karen oh shit uh, okay on today's episode of the podcast, I did admit to my Karen ways, so don't even try to come at me with Ryland's a Karen. I know, and I admitted it. Jizz jewelry. <laughs> Jizz jewelry is all the rage, RN. You can get it at your favorite Etsy shop. Just jizz and give your boyfriend a collection of your own. Oh, uh, that uh, one of our viewers uh, f fell in the shower and flooded her house. Oh but my gosh. Okay. Danger alert. Don't mix your meds with your alcohol or it will start a fight with your significant other. <laughs> we we got people on Bumble repping hard. Oh, yeah. You got to grow her show. Uh -huh. In major clout alert, the Shane Dawson podcast is reaching Bumble accounts everywhere as we're being referenced in people's dating profiles as a humor standard. Creating quite the buzz. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Uh, oh, Adriana Bailon is a queen, and you guys are idiots. Yuck. I'm going to disagree with you, but our queen, Adrian Bailon, forced us into our worst taste test on the podcast ever. Blasphemy. I will never be trying an Adrian Bailon food combo again, but you are welcome on our podcast anytime. Mm -hmm. I think I would pass out if I saw her in person. I know. I Jared love would throw her. up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, praying hands is a high five. An it apple is. emoji alert. Nothing is what it seems. We got squirters watching the podcast and they're squirting on their mom's sheets. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Something like yeah. that, right? No, the yeah. mom's laying in squirt. Yeah. Um, Ew. Squirt alert. Be careful when you're <laughs> resting your head at night and make sure you have clean sheets or just don't sleep in anyone else's bed. Oh, Jared brought crickets. That? Yeah. <laughs> crickets. As if today couldn't get any worse with food, Jared decided to bring us crickets that he found at a gas station, which I don't trust. Shout out X. Extra mile. We're all psychopaths. We all pass the test. Finally, the boys are confirmed to be psychopaths. What was the test that we did proof? We eat candy corn and banana, Laffy Taffy's and root beer. I can't believe they like none of those things. What are you looking at? Well, I'm like just that? trying to think how she's like coming to the conclusion that all those yeah. things equal psychopath. <laughs> I, I think know, she has do. an axe to grind. A Tootsie Pops don't get you free Tootsie Pops. That was just something that white people did. Yeah, in weird Shane and Jared fantasy lands, <laughs> shooting star Tootsie Pops got you a free one. No, it didn't. And what was the other crazy thing you guys did? Oh, you eat gum wrappers. Yeah, oh, you fucking weirdos. And now he's trying to get us to eat McDonald's wrappers? Yeah. Okay. I love that uh, the grower and farmer merch is like a goal on someone's bio. Yes. <laughs> like couple goals. In We're couple goals. In shocking merch alert, Shane's merch has become a phenomenon between couples. <laughs> Wait, honestly, there's like a lot of people doing it, yeah. rocking it in public yeah, and sending true. us pictures. That's it's true. like crazy. So if you want to get your merch, <laughs> shop it at shanedawsonmerch.com. I think we need to have our own fall photo shoot to rock the merch. And like, are you a real couple if you don't have the hoodies? Right. I don't think you are. All right, you guys. That's all we have for today's episode of the Shane Dawson Podcast. Make sure you're following all of us on social media. Shop the merch in the link below. And make sure you're tuning in to the audio and video of this podcast every two weeks, wherever you get your podcasts. We love you very much, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Where you guys go? That was a treat. Treat. <laughs> I'm, I'm thankful for it. So hopefully you enjoyed this show and hopefully we all survive after our stomachs deal with what we ate. I already don't feel good. Oh my God.
I'm happy that you go. But you did. You did. You literally did. You <laughs> liar. You pushed him away. He wasn't was dead yet. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.